This is Rachel Cipriano coming to you again for Magnificent Resilience. Happy Friday to all of you. I'm going to finish up my quote series today with actually giving you I Saved the Best for Last, a quote by German writer and philosopher Johann Goethe. And what he said was, treat an individual as he is and he will remain as he is. But if you treat an individual as if what he could be, what he ought to be, then he will become what he could be and ought to be. I love that. I love that quote. It reminds me of a story I heard about an eight calf wife. You know, in olden times, they had dowries. And in one particular village, the dowry was calves. And for the beautiful women, a guy would give eight calves. But depending on how attractive she was, that would be dependent. A not so attractive person might only get two or three. A very unattractive person may not be chosen at all, get no calves. Well, this man picked a wife and she was known as the most unattractive woman in the village. Dare I say that she was ugly. And everyone was surprised because he gave, gave eight calves for this homely woman. And it was just, nobody could understand it. Well, this man who had seen all this transpire went off for a while. It had been maybe three or four years. And he returned to the village and he happened to go in the home of the man who had done such a strange thing. And he was sitting around the table and he saw this beautiful woman come in. He's like, oh, it's a good thing. He got rid of that unattractive woman and picked this looker. Well, imagine his shock when he found out it was that woman. It was the woman who was known as the most unattractive woman in the village. I think you get the moral of the story. And it, it's a moral for all of us and how we treat other people. Don't we have to have more understanding and compassion? This comes a little bit easier for me because having psychology in my background and just naturally I have the ability to kind of see through the outer person and, and I understand a lot of the, the motives and and the things that affect people being the way they are. However, it is true a lot of times I find it very difficult to deal with unkind and pompous and prideful people. However, it is amazing how relationships and situations can turn around when we see past that outer appearance and treat people around us as they could be. Also, we can bring it home to ourselves. <clears throat> what about you? You may be feeling you're not something special today. You may be feeling you're not particularly attractive or smart or, or uh, capable. But what if, what if you started giving yourself positive affirmations? What if you started treating yourself like you were the President of the United States? Well, it wouldn't happen overnight, but I guarantee you over time, you would become so much more than where you're at right now. So remember Goethe's quote. And one word of caution about it. Just be aware that while it's wonderful to be positive and optimistic about others, I caution you against truly toxic people. Because um, people in that particular type of situation can do tremendous harm to your body, soul, and spirit. They're like human wrecking balls, like bulls in a china shop. So I would warn you and caution you to get a gauge on people like that because they're just a little too dangerous to be too idealistic about. Other than that, garden variety people start treating them with honor, start treating them with respect, and you start treating yourself with respect, 
and watch, give it time, and watch how different you'll become. Rachel Cipriano with Magnificent Resilience. Please like, share, and subscribe, and have a wonderful day.